I'm using Robert Valentine's Angel Tarot Card Deck for a message. I'll choose three cards and I'll also read the base of the pack and I'll also choose one from the gods, goddesses and angels pack as well for some extra guidance. So I'm setting the intention for a reading, a general reading for anyone who views this video for the highest and greatest good. There we have one, two and three. So the first one is the queen of air. She is manifesting magnificently. She knows what is true in our heart and that's what she focuses on. She focuses on the many blessings in her life that are priceless, her health, her family. And from that frequency, that energy of focusing on what she is grateful for, she is like a magnet that draws that beautiful prosperity and good health into her life. This is the energy we are going through the retrogrades of Mercury, Venus and Uranus. So lots of energy, lots of illusion going around at the time. Keep your vision focused on where it is you want to journey, where you want to go. Don't be looking at things that you don't want in your life. We know now what makes us happy. This is a card reminding us to focus on what makes us happy. Don't be looking into the illusion of loss or any anxieties. Really holding our spiritual gifts now and working with them really powerfully. Being really focused on what we're doing making sure we are not going into any kind of opportunities without really feeling our way through, not making any rash decisions at this time, just staying still, keeping our vision firmly placed upon the beautiful life that we are here to create. Then we have the Eight of Earth, and this is study. So this is skilled work starting to pay off as we stay focused and we start creating what makes us happy. We create even more. But this is also about going back to school. So whether there are any, any exams or you're going through anything like that, know that your angels are around you and if you are going through any kind of study call on your angels your guardian angels archangel uriel archangel metatron they will help you to be able to see with clarity to be able to to use your intuition and your guidance through your exams you will feel the benefit they'll keep you in alignment but this is a card of study. This is a card of positive outcomes also. So if you're watching this and you're going through any kind of exams, know that everything's going to be okay. This is asking us to really enjoy the little luxuries of life as well. Making sure we're keeping that balance, that we are resting during this time of exams or extra study. And then the magician, Archangel Raziel, and he, the, this card is connected to Mercury, Mercury, which is in retrograde, so it's the communication planet. So making sure we're not taking things to heart, that we're not taking things too seriously. We are staying in alignment and we are able to rise above any of the illusions that are going on around us at the moment. This card is asking us, Archangel Raziel is asking us to not go into the future fearing about anything of loss or trying to work out um, our life from, it, from this moment that we're in. To use that energy, to anchor that energy, to anchor this beautiful divine energy into this moment so that when we're in this moment we manifest However we are feeling in this very moment, we will manifest into the next. 
So Archangel Raziel is stepping forward and saying, breathe, take nice deep breaths, sink into that peace within, keep breathing until you sink into that peace within, going through all those layers that we are moving through now to be able to come into alignment with our own divine magic. We are here to create divine abundance in our lives and when we have the confidence and the wisdom and we stand true and in faith that is where all our strength is in this moment it's not 10 miles down our path it's not in next week it's not in last year it's in this very moment so Archangel Raziel is reminding us we've got everything that we need within this moment we can feel abundant in this moment we can feel the joy of passing our exams and stepping into that study in this moment we can really focus on all on all our many blessings and everything that's priceless in our lives our family our health our friends our career, we can focus in this very moment on everything that is prosperous in our life. And from that moment, we start to send out that energy for that prosperity to find us. So Archangel Raziel stepping forward, reminding us that Mercury is in retrograde Venus is in retrograde and so is Uranus to really not take things to heart that any kind of words are spoken because it is the planet of communication watching how we speak to our loved ones ultimately reminding to stay in this moment to not sign anything, make sure we read it over and over before we sign something, make sure we are aware of what we're doing, the planets are there bringing us deeper and deeper into ourselves to be able to be in a state of awareness in this very, very moment and every moment. And the base of the pack is the King of Earth. So the King of Earth is the Midas touch, King Solomon. So everything he touched turned to gold. And this is how we alchemize. When we're alchemizing those illusions, when we're alchemizing those fears and seeing straight through them into the reality that uplifts us. Because as we do that, we draw it to us. This is like looking through the veils of illusion. And as we start to alchemize those lower emotions, those, those lower and unhealthy patterns, as we start to alchemize them, we start to draw in prosperity, divine magic, and beautiful luxuries in our lives and and that divine intelligence because when we're not focusing on everything going wrong when we stay at home and focus on everything going right and everything is in divine order it takes such a burden off us of worry because everything ultimately is exactly how it is meant to be in divine order so let go of any worries enjoy your study enjoy this time of your life we will never visit this time of our lives again really feel the enrichment of life and whatever we give out comes back so if we worry 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 we create obstacles we create clouded mind foggy mind when we actually come back into peace, we become clearer than we have ever been. Everything's there. Our gifts are there. Our, our clear audience is there. Our intuition is clear. So this is a time of coming within. We're coming up to the full moon on the 17th. So the moon is growing now. 
growing in energy the new moon is when we draw all the moon draws all that energy in and that's what we do we start to set our intentions for the month and as the month grows as the the moon grows the energy grows and our manifestations gain power so we're coming up to the full moon so do some manifesting re focus realign if you have to with all these energies going around come back into this moment everything resides in this moment and i'll have to really bring this one through and that one we've got the nine of water and archangel metatron reminding us we're on our right path everything's there we don't have to look at into the future for anything or into the past everything we require is in this very moment and that's when we are able to balance our energy archangel metatron is there he is helping us on our ascension and he is guiding those horses with energy and he is reminding us that's what we do in our life keep things balanced he is stepping forward and he is he is bringing so much love to each and every one of us and this is a card saying that we're well on our way into our ascension and then the nine of water our wishes are there we don't need to look at the illusion all around us they're just below the self surface and when we start to look at all our cups full all our blessings in our lives we start to bring that reality in to our lives so things coming forward now positive things we're going through some testing times this is when we use all our spiritual tools of self-healing staying in the moment when we realize our mind's gone off in a million one directions bring it back being aware of where we're placing our attention as we move through these retrogrades and then we move into these nine beautiful cups full of our wishes being fulfilled their beautiful wishes so i'm asking now for a message from the angels gods and goddesses for the highest and greatest god there we are the angel of finances so if anyone has been worrying about finances that worry takes us down abundance is a frequency like everything else out here we we can send a, a text message and i can send it to you and you will receive it and it goes through the airways it's a frequency and that's the same as finances we can tap into that frequency and the way we tap into it is by feeling abundant feeling how how really gifted and our feeling how divinely abundant we are in our lives of everything around us we are more abundant than our ancestors we are moving through and as you tap into that frequency of prosperity that we draw it to us then when we are tapping into the frequency of loss will draw that to us also so the angels are uplifting us reminding us that that we can tap into anything out there tap into that frequency of prosperity and this is a card saying value your blessings your finances are going to increase so let go of your worries so if there's anything and any worries to do with your finances take this as confirmation you don't need to worry you are worrying unnecessarily you're connecting into a frequency that will only bring more worry and anxiety raise your raise your thoughts step into faith feel abundant in this moment look around you at everything around you feel abundant feel grateful for everything in your life and that will bring us up into this frequency of finances, increasing of finances. And don't be focused on where these finances will come in. The universe works in the most wonderful 
and amazing ways. Be open to receiving it, flowing it into you at this moment and you will start seeing evidence of it. So beautiful cards to keep us on our path to, to feel our way through. So that's 9, 10, 11, 17, 18, 19, 27, 9, completion. We're coming through a completion. We're coming up to this powerful new full moon. Then we're coming into the spring. We're coming into the new year, the Chinese new year, symbolic. All this fresh new energy coming in. We're moving up into the light. So stay focused. Stay focused on what uplifts you. And if anything pops into your head that doesn't, change your train of thought. Shift your thought to something that that brings calmness to you, that brings love into your body, that actually uplifts you. That this is where we are now being asked to take that speed, that steering wheel of our life and steer it in the direction by just focusing on it. If we are driving down a road and we are looking at all the bumpy road down there, we will we will start to to take our vehicle that way and we're being asked to keep that focus forward on our path. Forget about anything that's going on. Stay focused on our path on that beautiful road ahead with that beautiful sunshine and upliftment and that divine abundance flowing into our lives. Stay extra aware during this time and everything, everything will be amazing. So I'm sending so much love and thank you so, so much for listening and I'm sending healing to anyone who needs it at this time and angel blessings to you all thank you so much god bless